Lauren, I know this seems like a very cliche question to ask, but how do you feel after a performance like that from what you've battled through to defeat Misha Tate, who really thought she'd be next in line to challenge for the title? Yeah, it took a lot of mental fortitude, really, to um, to come back from, like, the loss that I had against Valentina to really analyze what had gone wrong, like, in that fight and in myself and what I could do better. I mean... To, like it, so, it sounds cliche, but that takes a lot of bravery to like look at yourself like that and then to say this is how I screwed up and this is how I need to make the changes and then to actually make those changes. And so I changed my whole camp, um, not only the people that I train with and the coaches that I have, but I also um, like I went to Denver for four months. I got a new nutritionist. I got a new conditioning program. Like uh, d just so much was different for me and it took a while to, to acclimate, but I just kept telling myself, like, you have to learn from this. And if you can really show that you've learned from it and live those lessons, then good things will come. Yeah, well, they certainly did for you. How different did it feel making that walk and then really just being able to compete on a healthy level inside that octagon? Yeah, you know, it was it was awesome. And I was really, like, loving the moment because it was like... I felt so good in there and I was very in the moment. I was very focused and I could feel my mind kind of trying to get away from me and telling me like uh, just all the negative stuff your mind can tell you. And I was able to in that moment be like, nope, not right now. I'm putting this aside for 15 more minutes and I'm going to keep being myself. I'm going to keep doing what I do and fighting the way that I've been practicing, you know, and come out here and perform. And that's a beautiful feeling because I think we all have negative thoughts and we all have like moments where our mind wants to get the best of us and to be able to overcome that in such a big moment on such a big stage. It's really, it's what we work so hard for. It's what athletes love. It's what we live for. No, absolutely. And you were able to get two 30-27s on the judges' scorecards. Again, over a former champion at 135 pounds. You said you're going to France. You said you want to fight that winner. Um, so why is that the fight you believe that is right for you if the matchmakers are watching this? Because I want to show that I've grown so much from that loss that that, that I'll be worthy to not only fight a number one contendership fight again, but to dominate a number one contendership fight again. And those are the tests that I feel I have to pass. Not to prove anything to anybody else, but to prove it to myself. So that when I do fight for the championship again, I can make that walk again with confidence. Because I know that was really lacking in my, in my first title run. Um, and that, you know, only one way to get through that is to prove to myself that I can do it. And those girls are tough. Man on Fiora is tough. Jessica Andrade is tough. And she's a former champion herself. And so I think a win over either one of those would be proof for everybody, but mostly for me, that I would be ready to challenge for the championship again. Whoever that may be, it might not even be Valentina at that right. point, you know, right. whoever it could be. So, but that, that's really the point of that is that I'm not trying to skate by to get to the championship anymore. I'm trying to dominate this division to get to the championship. Man, I love hearing you say that. And I honestly can't wait to see who they match you up with next because we will certainly be watching. Lauren, congratulations. I hope you celebrate. I hope you eat all the pastries in France when you go because <laughs> you deserve that. it. All right, good. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.